Now, patients who have heart muscle scarring and high blood pressure could be at higher risk of heart failure and even death. The National Heart Centre Singapore has confirmed the adverse association between both conditions in a study. It involved giving MRIs to hypertension patients and monitoring them for adverse outcomes over three years. A heart muscle scarring or myocardial fibrosis typically happens in patients who have had heart attacks. Researchers found that different patients heart muscles respond to high blood pressure differently. It opens the door for more personalised treatment for those with both conditions. Trials are also ongoing for therapies that can reverse heart muscle scarring. Well, let's get more on this. And for that, we're joined by Associate Professor Calvin Chin. He is a senior consultant at the Department of Cardiology and Director of Cardiac Magnetic Residence Imaging at NHCS. Uh, Prof Chin, now, I'm just wondering, this pairing of uh, scarring together with high blood pressure, this combination, um, why does that have such a devastating effect? Well, generally speaking, when we talk about scarring, it occurs as a result of uh, injury. So in the context of hypertension, because of the elevated blood pressure, it predisposes the heart to uh, increase injury. So initially, the heart responds as thickening, uh, as a adaptive response, but because of the insufficient oxygen supply and other factors, scarring in the heart muscles occurs, which is what we saw in this study. And this is bad because the muscle, as you know, is a very muscular object. Uh, our organ and replacing these muscle cells with fibrous and scar tissues will affect the pump function that will eventually lead to heart failure in these patients. Uh, Professor Chin, how frequently do we see these two conditions uh, uh, in a sort of present in, in a person? How prevalent is it here in Singapore? So in our study, uh, we found that about 20% out of about 800 patients that we studied has got uh, evidence of myocardial fibrosis as heart muscle scarring uh, that we can detect on a cardiac MRI. 20% uh, is, is, is pretty significant there. Um, uh, so what's good about your work is that you're actually trying to even reverse that scarring. Uh, what progress has been made there and... What are the limitations of what's on offer now in terms of treatments? Yeah, so in current treatment paradigms, we are aimed at reducing blood pressure, treating patients to blood pressure targets. And this indeed, uh, this strategy is cost effective in managing a large proportion of patients with uh, this condition just to prevent uh, long term complications related to hypertension. Uh, what our study shows is that about 20% of these patients. Uh, particularly those with heart muscle scarring, perhaps a more targeted therapy should be considered of the first patients, which is actually part of our ongoing trial that uh, we are doing. And basically in this study, what we're trying to do is to see whether we can find certain medications uh, in addition to lowering blood pressure, but also reverse heart muscle scarring. And we want to be able to reverse the scarring before they decompensate and develop heart failure in these patients later on. And this is quite an important study because if it's shown to be possible, then this will potentially impact how we change our management in hypertension. So it sounds like it would be quite a game changer, Professor Chin. Uh, tell us something about, you know, you mentioned the targeted treatments and that you're trialing this. What goes into actually tailoring uh, a treatment specifically for a person with these conditions? I think we have to look at the risk profile of the patients. Uh, if they, for the most part, if you could consider the population as a whole, 80% of them would do well with what we're doing right now, just uh, lowering their blood pressure, monitoring their uh, pressure support, uh, and managing their lifestyle and diet. But in just at 20%, if there's evidence of myocardial fibrosis or heart disease scarring, then perhaps a different type of medications may be offered in addition to lowering their blood pressure. So uh, if, if, if I wanted to, to monitor myself or my family, what would some of the warning signs of heart scarring, uh, what would they be and what could I look out for? Yeah, so heart muscle scarring is actually a very progressive uh, process. In the early stages, we don't actually have any symptoms at all. 
uh, to more advanced stages where the patient will show symptoms of heart failure, such as worsening breathlessness, decreased effort tolerance, uh, patients who complained that they were not able to perform certain tasks that they were used to doing before. So this may be signs that you know, the patient may show signs of uh, heart failure related to hypertension. Professor Chin, thank you very much uh, for talking to us tonight and all the best with your targeted uh, trials that you're performing. Uh, Professor Calvin Chin there from the National Heart Centre, Singapore.